I don't know what to do with this footage and with this vlog today, to be honest with you. Welcome to day 10, everybody. We are vlogging every day. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guess where we're going tonight? No, <laughs> because we didn't tell you. Are you stupid? Okay, today we are gonna do a Beirut by night. It's a new tradition that we just invented. It's going to Beirut by night. Ha, <laughs> that's amazing. The last two days were really intense. We fasted and we had iftar and we filmed all day. And yeah, it's just so tiring, man. Let's get into it. So we have a new guest, the one, the only, Francisco. Almost 24 hours he's yeah. been in Lebanon. So today's challenge is we're gonna be driving blindfolded through the night. I can't see anything, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> there's a car in front of me yeah. where I should go straight, try to accelerate or something. Impressive. So we're, we're driving to Beirut right now blindfolded because we need to spice up the day. It can't be a boring vlog, right? If we do an accident, if anything happens wrong, it's content, baby. There is a COVID curfew. We can't drive at night. <laughs> Isn't that ironic? And hopefully doing cool stuff. Oh, it's the police? Oh shit, the police is following us. So yesterday night we were in, in Tripoli and uh, we went to the airport right after to pick up a legend and his name is Francisco. <laughs> What's up man, you good? Yeah, I'm good. Welcome to Lebanon. Are you ready? Yes, sir. That's my boy. Let's go, hop in. So we met a year and a half ago. I was in Portugal with my family and he toured us around. He was a stranger at the time. And uh, now here he is in Lebanon. I would yeah. have never believed that you would come to yeah. Lebanon, but you actually came. I feel like it's a dream. I already told Adam. It's, it's crazy. I can't believe that I'm here and yesterday I was in Portugal. Right? Uh, question guys, do you want to go and eat falafel? Yeah. Do you want to eat falafel? I don't know what falafel is. Really? Right now I don't know. Oh. Yeah. Abtuhin? eh? Yes. Yeah. Falafel. It's his first falafel yeah. ever. I don't know what it is falafel. So I try to guess. Try to, try to like try to like guess what it is. Cheeky pee. Cheeky pee. <laughs> Cheeky pee. <laughs> it's chicken, right? <laughs> without, it's it's chicken, chicken without pee. the pee. It's chicken pee. <laughs> it's chicky pee. <laughs> you want some chicky pee, boy? I'll get three falafels. Your first bite of chicky pee. First bite ever. It's like this. No, no, no. You eat it like this. Uh, sideways, sideways, like this. <laughs> like a. <laughs> There's no electricity in this whole block because, yeah, in Lebanon sometimes the electricity cuts out, and uh, yeah, it just it just happens like that. If you didn't know, in case you didn't know, this is the first falafel of Francisco. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Okay, let's just take a moment to appreciate how stupid and vulnerable human beings look when they're about to take a bite. <laughs> oh, oh, you think I'm making fun of my friends? <laughs> take a look at this. Adam three? wants another falafel. Yeah, he just had three, I'm and now he wants another one. I'm unstopped. I cannot be stopped. Next stop, we're getting some juice. Juice. What juice do you want to drink? What would you recommend? Uh, 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 by the way, I don't have any camera today because uh, Mr. Adam broke it. So now I'm camera free, and I have people filming me. That's amazing. Oh, thank you. That's the jalep. Jalep for me. Yes. Jalep. Jalep juice for you. Jalep juice for you. Hey. Mm, I love it. I love it. Very nice. Adam doesn't only eat too much, he drinks too much. So Adam is also taking free shavakari juice. Free shavakari juice! Okay, enough of the food now. The quest to find the greatest party spot in Beirut officially started. The four horsemen walked the darkness of the night, fueled by the idea of unleashing their inner party animals. Yet the more they marched, the less people they were. What was happening? Where was the soul of Beirut? The realm of human connection. Reality was slowly kicking in. Now we're witnessing a magical moment that rarely happens in other countries. You can hear the sounds of the bells of the church. And right next to the church, you can hear the muezzin doing the prayers in the mosque. This whole street 
was really affected after the explosion, obviously, but also the revolution. And there's graffitis everywhere, the windows are broken. It's really post-apocalyptic. It's so, so weird to be walking here, knowing that a couple of years ago, there were businesses, there were people on the streets at night, cafes, even bars. It radically changed since October 2019. The apocalypse had begun. The bells of the end were ringing. The heavenly dome was praying. The lifeless forgotten vestiges were standing there in the abyss. It was no coincidence, hope was frail. Who was behind all this? In the deserted road to perdition, the revolution revealed the raven of truth. It was the outlaw. The outlaw had stolen everything, extracted the humanity from the fancy apes, crushing their future. The festivity was long gone. The link to order was sabotaged. The contact condemned. And when they thought all hope was lost, in the nocturnal gloom, a faint sign of existence beneath the barricades was heard. Movement, something alive. A newborn, feline, lonely, fragile, exposed, abandoned. A last hint of life, survival. This was the only kind of nightlife that mattered. The kitty. The kitty. Where's the kitty? He's right here. Can you see the kitty? Should we adopt him? You think? Should we adopt the kitty? Guys, we just arrived back home. I don't know what to do with this footage and with this vlog today. To be honest with you, I'm just closing the car. Did it close? Is it closing? Yeah, I just closed. <laughs> Wow, I'm so tired from the editing and from everything, just exhaustion, right? How was your first evening in Beirut? It was good, it was yeah. good, yeah. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. <laughs> All right, well, there's absolutely no storyline. Yeah, it was amazing. Such a good day. Okay. Hi, Adam. I'm gonna eat you. Mm. 